YouTube. All right, today we are working on another project on the Firebird. I'm gonna try something I saw on YouTube, but I've never actually done myself. I'm kind of curious how this turns out. So I'm working on this set of wheels. So these are American Racing Vector wheels, and I'm gonna attempt to take these tires off without using any tire equipment. So first thing we're gonna do is gonna take out the valve core. And you got this little tool here. It's just a little cylinder with a slot in it. And you're supposed to slide that in there over top of your, in your valve stem and just thread it lefty loosey, righty tighty. And you don't want, you want to make sure that it doesn't go rocketing out with the air pressure. All right, so that's the valve core. And we're just gonna let all the air run out. All right, so the technique goes, take out the valve core, and then you need to break the bead. So the bead is the part where the tire rests on the rim and makes the ceiling surface all the way around. And that ends up forming a pretty tight bond when they first uh, inflate the tire with a big poof of air and then air it up. So you need to be able to break that. So what they, in a tire shop, they're gonna, they have a machine that presses down on the tire and then it works its way around and it, it breaks the bead that way. Uh, the technique that I'm gonna try, I have no idea if this is gonna work, is using a four by four, laying it on the tire and then driving up on it, just real nice and slow. And the idea is that it's gonna push the tire down and break the bead so that I'll be able to get the tire off at home instead of paying somebody to do it. We're gonna try this, see if it works. All right, here goes nothing. I'll be that worked like a champ holy cow all right we got to flip the tire over do the other side break the bead off of that other side and then we're going to work on getting this tire off the rim that was amazing there we go try to break the bead on the other side Hey, there it goes. All right, we successfully broke the bead on both sides of the wheel using the four x four and the weight of the car. It's pretty awesome. Now I'm gonna use some pry bars and take the tire off the rim. Okay, we got the bead broken on both sides. Now we're gonna use a little bit of soapy water. Um, I just didn't even bother with the, the water part of it. I just got a bottle of Simple Green here, sprayed it all around the bead. Now I'm just gonna use a pry bar. Got that wheel laying on a blanket. So it's just a matter of flip it up and over just like that. And then you're gonna use a second pry bar. Try to kind of work it around a little bit. Okay, there we go. Got that side loose. Now it's just a matter of getting the other side out and popping the wheel out of the rim, or popping the wheel out of the tire.
Just like that. That's it. Pretty darn easy. So, for anybody that wants to learn how to pop a bead off and get a tire off of a rim without having tire tools, that's how you do it. Wasn't real hard. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed our content. If you uh, like our videos, please like, subscribe, comment. We sure do appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Bye.